Good afternoon, everyone. This is Trader Tim from eMini Mind, and we're doing a uh, Monday market analysis video to uh, get this week going. Uh, it is uh, rollover week, so expect things to be a little bit strange uh, at times. You've got the September contract as well as the December contract trading, and the volume's kind of split between the two. Uh, typically, uh, the Friday prior to expiration, the volume then shifts to the new contracts of the December, uh, but sometimes things can be a little bit screwy and numbers can seem a little bit off because you have multiple contracts going. But I wanted to kind of run through where we're at in the markets and what I'm seeing for the week. We've got this big channel that I've drawn and we're still in kind of the, the top half of the channel. I also drew up the next retracement. We weren't able to break the uh, high from uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, before we pulled back and broke Friday's low today. So uh, 2890s is what's below us. If we break 2883s, I would start to um, be a little bit more concerned and think that we'd come back uh, down here uh, to the larger 50 below us. The major swing low to be really concerned about, though, is the 2865. Uh, as long as we stay above that, then you know we're continuing in trend in this top half of the range. Um, intraday today, uh, one thing I noticed, you know, the first 30-minute range is a pretty strong uh, tool. So I just have the, the high and the low marked here of the first 30-minute range, and you can see how we hugged the bottom of it for a while, then we broke down, and then we bounced up to it, and then what was support was then acting as resistance and then we sold off uh, from there into the afternoon so uh, just marking the first 30 minute high and low can be a really helpful tool uh, for you know any uh, market that you're trading that follows kind of the new york uh, hours but otherwise as we move into the rest of the week you know with a big body candle like today i would you know, if we're inside of today's price range, so if we're above 2892s or below 2910s, uh, there should be quite a bit of back and forth. So it, it'll be until we break today's high or low uh, that, you know, the chance of seeing a whole lot of activity wouldn't be super great. Now, if we break the low, a 2892, remember that this 50% long is just below us so i'm not going to be getting too aggressive on a short below today's low uh, because that 2890 is just below us and we may uh, get some lift from that so i'll be watching for a possible bounce kind of lines up with these highs from uh, the last two weeks or so and uh, see if that can push us back into another new high so we'll kind of keep it short and sweet for today uh, tomorrow morning uh, doing a live trading session you can check that out at eminimind.com slash vip and i hope everyone has a great week of trading stay uh, safe out there no need to get uh, overly um, risky this week and we'll talk to you soon